Uh, oh my god. Oh man. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yo gang, what's happening? It's a good day. A great day for us to make some money as always. Today I come with you with some bomb ass strategies that I wish that you guys should be. I mean, everyone should have this. Everyone should be doing this right now at this point. If you're not doing this, you should probably try something else because if you're not trying this strategy, you're just losing money. Okay, so before the video starts, I'd like you guys to like, subscribe. You can take your like back if you don't enjoy this video, right? And once you're done, just take it back. If you don't enjoy this video, if you don't like this strategy, you can just take it back. But like, subscribe, and I have so much more in store for you guys. And shameless plug, Telegram channel, free in the description right now. You can just go there, click on there, and you will be part of the group and you'll be making money because we have free signals every single day. And if you want to play with the big boys, we have VIP channel that you can join and you can make some money with us. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So to start off, we're going to change our time frame. It's going to be a one minute time frame. We're starting with $715. We are going to go ahead and switch our candles to 10 seconds so we can monitor uh, our closer. So zigzag is the indicator we're going to be starting with. Uh, like the set in the way it is CCI, another momentum driven uh, indicator. Just going to put the period down to seven or oh, nine is good. Oh, no, seven. Uh, I'm just going to switch the colors a little bit to stuff that's comfortable for me. Uh, yellow uh, okay um, so now the last indicator I think I'll add MACD yes yes MACD another great popular in the, uh, indicator there's a lot of strategies online uh, about how to use MACD in, in combination with so many other indicators so let's look at the chart real quick and pick out our OTC markets. So uh, currency pairs, you know, I love the USD and Brazilian real, also USD and Indian rupees have been good to me. Australian dollars and Swiss francs, Canadian dollars and Swiss francs has also been really good to me. So I am just going to add them. Euros in Swiss franc has also been really good for, to me. In fact, in my last video, I made like seven grand uh, just off the last trade off of that because I think I went 5,000 in. No, no, it was 3,000 in on that trade. So I was able to make it. So let's, you know, let's do a little, a little analysis before we go into our first trade. So our first raise is Australian dollar, Japanese yen, and we are going to put, uh, we're putting $715 on this trade. And the reason why we can see on this trade is that our zigzag has identified a downward trend. As you know, zigzag is a downward, uh, not a downward, a trend uh, uh, located in the market. And as we can see, it's showing us a downward trend and we'll be stupid not to put downwards on that. Uh, and if we look at other, indicators we can see that cci is showing uh, a downward movement right now but a couple of minutes ago it wasn't but if you look at the cci before that we can see that there's been a high and then a low and then a high and then a low we can see the high here so which means that we should be expecting another low and the macd in this trend is signaling the cross over the macd as we can see the cross over there is showing that we are definitely in a call situation and boom a thousand three hundred in an account easy easy peasy lemon squeezy so uh maybe we'll choose another currency pair for the next trade or might i stay here i'm not sure but let's get it on with the next trade i'm using the currency pair usd brazilian lure and I'm gonna increase my money a little bit and I'm gonna put a put call immediately 
because I could see a trend. As we can see, we can see that the crossing from the MACD is showing a mixed. It's a little bit of a mixed signal because we can see a crossing between the green and the red um, lines there. So I'm a little bit cautious of what I have to do in this trade, but based on the fact that I can see that there's been the highest of highs, right? And we don't see the candles go as high as that anymore, but we can see the lowest of lows there, right? And I feel like we're going to go maybe not as low as the lowest lows, but I feel like this might be a winning trade for us. Um, so if you look back down now, we got the CCI showing us that it's definitely in a downward trend. Got a little bit of upward motion over there, but I think that we are okay. This is looking not very good, but I think we're going to pull it back. And boom. Yeah, 1,900, almost 2,000, but, you know, I will cry about it. So, um, dope situation to be in. Let's move on to the next trade. So for this trade, we're back in USD, Indian rupees, and I'm going to call on this option because we can see that the zigzag momentum is showing, uh, sorry, zigzag indicator is showing an upward momentum. Maybe, and we can see that it's an upward trend in correlation with the price movement. So, and the CCI also shows that the price is overbought. So we can see that we are definitely in an upward trend. MACD also confirms this as we see that the signal line is crossing over the MACD line from above. So we can see that it's the green is just right above our red. So based on this, we have executed a call option. Uh, I think that this is an easy win in the books. I don't really think that there's much that can happen here. Oh shit. All right. I mean, we made the trade, but it was a little risky, but I think that if you don't risk it, no biscuit. So you have to take some risks to make good money. So let's get into the next trade real quick. So in this trade, we're going to put option. We're going with a currency pair of Australian dollars in Swiss francs. Uh, we've got four trades in, so about $4,000 is on the line. But I think that we've entered at a great position as zigzag is showing a downward trend. Even And I think we entered early as we can see the lowest, we can see the highest highs uh on the chart right now which was probably a couple of minutes ago and though i'm worried about the last trade because i feel like i might have entered a little bit later than i would have liked to but i think generally and if we look at cci right now we can see a sharp downward moment just happened right that was like right before it even happened you could see it on a cci indicator MECD is showing us that it's a little bit across. We can see a little bit across just on top of it. But yeah, I mean, crazy. Oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, so that's good. That's great. We just made, I want to say, seven five hundred, and we started from $700. We can stop here, but I think we could push a little more because I think we made about $7,000 at our last uh, strategy video and I think that we need to up the ante a little bit so I'll do a couple more trades maybe to see if we can go higher than the last video so we are up seven grand and I'm going to call no I'm gonna put I'm gonna put and this is a very risky trade because I'm putting all $7,000 in this trade. It's very risky, but you know what I say, you have to keep you calm because without risk, there is no money. Like you're not gonna make money trading if you don't risk, but you have to manage your risk as well. Like I'm not just putting 
a bunch of dots because I think that, oh my God, maybe it's going to go up or down. But if you look closely, you can see that zigzag is showing us, uh, oh, we just saw a price reversal. Oh, that's unfortunate. We might lose some of this trade. As you can see, there's a price reversal and then we see that he's showing us that just very close. And if they cross, we might lose some of this trade. It looks like we might, oh, it's a little, okay. We see, uh, oh my God. So we won, oh man, that's unfortunate, but that's what happens like as a trader. Oh man. So we won, I think two, three of those trades and we lost the other three. So we lost about $3,000, which happened. It happens. Uh, we're still up 4,000. I guess you guys can also learn from me because I'm trying to, not that, not necessarily that I'm chasing losses, but I was trying to just make more. I could have ended with seven grand today, but I'm going home with 4,000, which is not bad. So, but it's unfortunate. I could be going with extra $3,000 in my pocket, but now I'm not. But that's what comes with trading. You have to always be able to, you know, let it go, clear your mind and, you know, take your next trade. As you all can see, uh, trading can be a little bit difficult and you can see like sometimes when you take risk, like I took on the last trade, you might end up losing, but still we started, but you have to keep your goal, like, because we started with 700, right? And we still made 4,000. I mean, we lost 3,000, but we still made 4,000 from 700. So you can't get, you know, hooked up on that. You can't get like in your head and mad that you lost money. Is it what you started? We started with 700. So in this case, what I want to say is you'll have to always manage your risks. I took a little bit more risk than I wanted to today, but it comes with a game. You, I play to win, but sometimes you lose and you have to take it up the chin. So thank you guys for taking time to watch my video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have tried this strategy or will be trying this strategy, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and don't forget to follow my free Telegram channel. Links are in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I can't wait to see you in the next video.